Yeah, alright guys, me again. Um, just gonna take you through a little rudiment called the paradiddle diddle, one of the most useful rudiments I've learned. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate it, explain it, show you a few different ways of playing it on a pad or a snare, and then take you to the kit and show you how to play it in grooves, fills, because there are a myriad of different ways you can use this. It's brilliant, I love it. Um, so, if you haven't heard of a paradiddle diddle before, you will probably have heard of a paradiddle. As in right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, etc. Like that. Um, a paradiddle diddle, you add an extra double on the end of it, so it turns it into a sextuplet sort of thing. So it's right, left, right, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, left. You can do it the other way around, so left, right, left, left, right, right. But I always lead it with my right hand because I'm right handed. Um, so, kind of up to speed, it sounds. A bit like that. Um, tips for practicing it obviously, like all rudiments, start off dead slow to a click. Um, then gradually speed it up as your hands get more acclimatised to it, the muscle memory starts to develop, stuff like that. A um, couple of ways I different like to play it, um, if I'm just playing it on a pad or on the snare drum, uh, what I like to do is, first way, if I accent the right hand and just kind of ghost the left hand, it kind of turns it into a, almost like a kind of a backward sort of swing, kind of shuffle rhythm which I think sounds quite cool, so that sounds a bit like this. Yeah? So, again, stay absolutely all, always the same sticking, so right, left, right, right, left, left. Yeah? And if you practice it enough and get fast enough with it, you can turn it into a really fast buzzing thing with a you know kind of a one sort of feel so like etc um so they're the two different ways that I can think of or I like to play it um I'll put my snare back and then show you a couple of ways around the kit of doing it which I think are quite cool So first off, a um, couple of grooves. Uh, the first one, you start off with your hands, right hand on the hi hat, left hand on the snare. Um, but you d it consists of two paradiddle diddles, and on the first note of the second paradiddle diddle, you move your right hand from the hi hat to play the back beat on the snare drum. It's kind of a 12-8 sort of rhythm. So on the sixth, the seventh, sorry, seventh quaver, you play a back beat with your right hand. So I'll demonstrate it because it's probably easier than me explaining it. I'll do it slowly. So. same sticking right left right right left left but the only difference is the right hand halfway through the groove moves from the hi-hat to the snare drum to play the back beat kick drum is just on the one um, you can do that with the ride cymbal as well <laughs> left hand on the snare drum, don't play it in the centre, play it nearer to the room because it's quieter and it gives a slightly different sound and it differentiates between that and the back beat with your right hand. Um, second groove, um, both hands start on the hi-hats, but same as the last one, halfway through, the right hand moves 
onto the snare to give you a nice fat back beat. Um, it's kind of slightly, you know, like Mike Portnoy esque. So you get the nice little kind of buzzes on the hi hat. But then again, I'll do it slowly. The right hand moves through, moves onto the snare halfway through. So it sounds like this. It's great if you want to play a 12-8 groove really, really, really fast and you don't have to use singles because using singles sounds a bit messy and will tire you out. You can also move your right hand over to the ride cymbal, keeping your left hand on the hi-hat, I quite like to do, which gives it a slightly kind of different sound, different feel. Mess around, see what you come up with. Um, if you want, let me know what you come up with, and I might steal it. Um, next, we'll move on to a couple of fills involving it. And what I like to do is push the right hand places, like around the coffins, onto cymbals, whatever, um, on the first of every six. So if you're playing a normal power diddle diddle. First every six you play on a different drum. So good little pattern to practice would be and slower. So like that. And that, once you get it up to speed, you'll Sounds pretty cool and is great for kind of playing really, really fast stuff without a huge amount of effort, which I like. Um, the second one I like to do is keep the hands, keep the right hand on one of the toms. It sounds a little bit, it sound, it's a bit harder to play because you get a sort of much rebound off the toms. So it'd be better if you used in kind of a slower sort of funk setting where you're not playing as fast, like a jazz setting or whatever. Um, again, you can move the hands around the toms, but it sounds more like... etc. You can move the left hand around, but... Yeah. Just a couple of ideas, mess around with it, practice it loads because I find it really useful and so I think you lot will. Have fun with it, um, yeah, and let me know how you get on.